In this tutorial, we're going to animate a character using a TLC or a C3D file format, which is the pawn cow format usually created by optical motion capture system. First, uh, we import the C3D file here. TLC file works more or less the same. You can see that we have captured a relatively steady T posture. And we'll use this T posture movement to align the character. We can use any other posture theoretically, but uh, in fact, T posture is a lot easier to start with. We can drag in um, an actor from the assets browser. We can show or hide individual components of the actor in the blue button here. Our main task here is to translate, rotate, and scale this actor such that it will align well with the with the markers of this pawn cow. To do so. We first align the markers with the actors on the pelvis position. And then we scale the whole character such that the height of the actor will match that of the markers pawn cow. We make sure that the feet are not penetrating the floor. Next, we rotate the whole actor such that the shoulder will be aligned. Now we rotate individual parts such that they will be aligned with the markers as well. Notice that we cannot do a translate on individual body parts as they are all connected. We can only rotate them.
Then we select the editor, and the editor's information will be sold in the editor setting window here. We create a new marker set. A marker set is the mapping between the editor as well as the marker shown here. What we will need to do next is to drag the markers into different body parts shown here in the editor setting window. We first hide the editor body so that we can see the markers. And then we select the markers belonging to the head and use alternate left click to drag them into the head part of the editor setting window. We'll do the same for all the rest of the markers. You don't necessarily need to assign all the markers But each of the body parts shown in the editor setting window has to got some markers there. Upper leg also consists of the lead joints. That is. I suggest you to save the file here first because um, the next step is not reversible. So once we drag all the markers, we can show the character body again. And then we press the active button here. If the mapping is done correctly, the posture of the actor shouldn't change much. And you'll be able to play it back to see the little movement of the animation. If it's working, we'll save it again. Now we have the actor as well as the corresponding markers and they are aligned with each other. What we need to do next is to create a template by removing the markers information. Then we will only be able to keep the mapping between them but not actually the markers location. To do so, we expand the navigator, the scenes here. There is a C3D trees here, which represents our motion data. Right click here and select branches. And then we delete it. You can see that now our actor only contains the mapping, but it doesn't contain the movement information anymore. Then what we need to do next is to import the movements that we captured in the same session of motion capture from the same editor as well. As you can see, this is a walking movement. 
our actor is still not moving because we still haven't linked up this new set of movement with the actor. To do so is quite simple. We only need to drag all the markers onto the actor setting window in the drop objects here area. Motion Builder will do the matching for us. As you can see now, our actor is following the marker. In order to create an animation, we can drag in any red character, FBH match, no animation. And then we ask the, the character to follow our actor. Once we cut active, you can see that the character will move alongside with the actor. We can disable the rendering of the actor such that we can see the character itself only. This is how we animate a character using TLC or C3D point cloud captured from optical motion capture system.